Hey everyone, good morning. So I'm doing a radiator on a Ford F-150, I think it's a 2001, uh, with a 5.4 liter, my favorite motor. And I don't know if any of you have ever done this, and you get to the tranny cooler lines and you try to get them out, they require a special tool. I can't find mine. I have one. I have no idea where it is. So I made one. Let me show you this. Now if you've ever dealt with this, there's your tranny cooler lines. There's your fitting. Now the fitting goes inside there, and as you can see, it's a super tight fitting. That opening there, there's a clip inside that goes over this rib. It's near impossible to get to. A regular tool, like in this kit, none of these are going to get that out. None of them. They're just too thick. <clears throat> so what I do is I take a plastic container like this just a scrap plastic container and I cut a section out then I cut the sections into strips like this and as you can see what I did was when the line was in place I fed this plastic in between there like that and once I oh shoot All right, well, I'm having technical difficulties, so I am not going to have a light on this right now. So anyway, as you can see, what I do is I take the plastic and I go in between the fitting like this, and I take two of them, like that. Oops, sorry, why is it not focusing now? Technical difficulties, please stand by. And I go like this. And I work that around all while pushing the line inward into the radiator further. You do that and it helps push these in place with your fingers as you're doing everything all at once. And you will get the clip to release. It'll actually pop around the rib like that. See, it comes almost about the same size. Once you do that, you can get it out. Now, let me see if I can find a light I can use. There we go. I'm having issues with my equipment here. If you look inside, you can see the clip in the very edge there, and that's what gets released. So I hope this little trick helps some of you out. Um, it definitely, I've done it before many times. It's a little tricky, but at least you can get it out, because uh, otherwise the alternative is you have to unscrew that fitting from the radiator and then cut it, and you run a risk of cutting the line or gouging the line. I don't want to do that. So that's the way I do it. Um, I just like to know where my tool is. I had one. I don't know where it is. Uh, but that's about it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you get something out of this. If you do, hit the like button. If you could, please subscribe. So have a great day and keep wrenching.